Hey, IFBB Pro, Johnny O. Jackson here, and you're now watching The Hardcore Truth with Johnny O. Jackson, and I am Johnny O. Jackson. So welcome in, everybody, and this week edition of Hardcore Truth, Johnny O. Jackson, I'm going to talk about nutrition and health. Um, mind you, just general nutrition, um, not really specifics, but just to help you set up to have a good, have good nutrition habits. You know, um, just this alone will help your health. And we know what's going on and how crazy it is. Um, all these different diseases and viruses uh, and bugs are going around these these this time in this time of day. And it's really crazy. So it's really important for you to have just generally good health. And in doing that, you can do that through nutrition. Everybody knows this. So I'm going to tell you. You know, what I normally do on a daily basis or how I look at, you know, nutrition, you know, one of the things um, looking like this or looking like you work out every day, um, basically you get a lot of people walking up to you and asking you, and you guys know this who works out faithfully, um, what do you eat? You know, um, what do you eat every day? You know, what's your, your nutrition like? You know, and you're like, so most of the time they ask you, at a time where it's like, I uh, really don't have time to give you my whole lowdown of what I eat all day. But, you know, people actually, you know, <laughs> expect you to run it down. And if you don't, you know, they look at you like, you know, what's your problem? Um, so, yeah, we, you know, not everybody, and then not everybody know the answer to that question just because they look like, you know, you work out every day and you eat strict. That doesn't mean that you really know what you're doing. Hell, uh, I admit when I was competing, I had a guru. You know, I worked with some of the greatest minds there is in bodybuilding with uh, Tom Prince. God bless the dead. Um, I heard uh, this morning or yesterday morning, actually, he passed away. So he was one of my very first uh, nutritionists. Um, so Tom did my nutrition and Charles Glass trained me. So that was in the very beginning of my career. Um, so I hated to hear that. It was, uh, I hope, I like to say he was a, you know, good friend and a good dear friend. And, you know, uh, we'll, we'll miss him. And the world is, is a, um, you know, a worse place off without him. Um, so to move on from there, uh, Dennis James, as well as Milo Sarchev, uh, as well as, Chris Decido, um, I use these guys uh, to help me throughout my career uh, and help me win shows. Uh, so, you know, with that help, you know, I didn't just follow. I actually asked questions. Um, these guys are, are true professionals. So they made sure I understood, you know, everything that they were feeding me, um, why they were feeding me, and why I needed it. So I'm going to share some of that with you, some of my experience some some of my knowledge i attained from these awesome guys i'm gonna share it with you if you guys don't mind uh during this uh, episode um so to get back to say yeah you know <laughs> people really generally don't know how to eat you know uh, like i said that question that comes up of what are your nutrition like what do you eat um it, it really becomes a bother or um annoying but People genuinely don't know how to eat, and they're genuinely asking this because they want to do better. Um, some people ask just so they can uh, act like they want to do better, but, you know, not really. But anyway, um, so this is the way I look at it. I pretty much look at, you know, my split. If you want to go percentage-wise, I would go 50% protein, 40% carbs, 10% fat. Okay, that's how I would try to break down my food um, if you want to do it percentage-wise. Um, and mind you, um, people may look at, you know, carbs as 40% carbs. That's That sounds like a lot. But carbs usually get a bad name. Now, I know everybody's makeup is different, but carbs really get a bad name where, you know, most people are like, just stay away from carbs and you won't get fat. Um, and that's not true at all. Uh, it just depends on the per person. 
And I know there's some people that are super carb sensitive and there's more people that are carb sensitive than any other type. Um, so with eating carbs, they just automatically blow up and gain weight. So I can understand, you know, those people, you know, feeling that way. But in general, we need carbs just as much as we need protein. And my need we need fat just as much as we need carbs and protein. So we need a balanced diet. Um, I know um, during like preschool, if I can think back, pre <laughs> that was a long time ago. They wanted me to think back. Um, back in preschool, but I know this, back in preschool and uh, kindergarten and uh, first, second grade, we actually learned the five food groups, you know, um, where it was protein, fats, breads, carbs, um, protein, carbs, uh, fats, breads, and fiber um, that we learned about, um, which was very important to us as we get older. Not so much while we're, well, I, I, I say that, but it was important for us as children as well, but it was more up to our parents who fed us, who prepared our meals to know this. Um, not so much for us in kindergarten and first, second, third grade, to, you know, maybe start learning this, um, and then can continue on the learning as we go through school. But I'm telling you by third, fourth, fifth grade, I think fifth grade, I still had home ec classes after fifth grade, I, you know, nutrition was the furthest thing from education, educational classes, um, that I've ever, you know, experienced. I mean, it, it was like zero, none, um, you know, fish for your own self or remember what you learn in grade school and carry that for the rest of your life. I mean, it's a little bit ridiculous if you think about it, how through school, um, we never got taught how to eat properly, you know, at a certain grade. Um, and then, you know, um, like I said, there's still home ec classes and I took home ec classes also and learned how to make eggs. Um, if I can remember right, um, was one of the big things there, how to crack an egg and, you know, not break the yolk, um, put it in the pan without breaking the yolk was one of the big things. Um, other than that, I really can't remember anything else about the nutrition that I've learned in school. Um, basically, um, except for after, you know, I got out of, say, you know, grade school, middle school, high school, and um, got into some college courses. And I took some co some nutrition co college courses. Um, so, of course, that's the way for us adults to figure it out and to find out these days is to take some courses and, you know, actually learn about, you know, nutrition. And even, I have to say, even with taking some courses, and living a little bit longer than, you know, the life of the class, it really goes out the window. You don't really retain as much as you uh, do in your other, you know, major classes um, that you have to truly graduate and um, move on to adulthood. Like I said, carbs normally are the bad guys or get the bad name um, out of all the food groups. Um, but we definitely need the carbs for you know, our main energy source, you know, um, for brain functions, uh, for body functions as well. Um, and to build muscle. Now, you know, we need carbs to build muscle as well. We need protein and we know protein are the building blocks and all this good jazz. And that's why I mentioned 50% um, or the higher percentage uh, is protein um, because I was always a bodybuilder. I always cared about my physique. I was always trying to build bigger muscle so protein is the key is the key point so it's the number one is 50 percent of what i eat and like i said carbs the bad name get 40 percent because we need this to help the protein so we don't turn our protein into something that it's not or get it it be made to be used in our body for something is it's readily not made for and it's readily made for building muscles, not for giving us a source for energy. Um, and your, but your body will sure use it 
that way if, it, if that's the main thing you're putting into your body. So remember, we need the carbs for energy source. And if we cut out that energy source we can, and implement more protein, thinking no carbs, I won't turn fat, more protein, I'll build more muscle. No, your body will break down the protein and use it for energy use, for brain function, for organ functions as well. So you're taking away from yourself at that. And then we get down to the fat. And is it important for us to have fat introduced into our our uh, meal plans as well? Um, just the, the same thing for energy use, for body functions, um, for organ functions. Um, it's, it's so important to have a balanced nutrition to keep yourself healthy. And keeping your health self healthy also mind your, your immune system. And so your immune system is a lot stronger because of the balanced diet and help you fight off the different diseases and viruses that are going around and around today, back and forth uh, from different from different people. As well as a balanced diet, we have to stay hydrated. I know I'm just coming off of last week. Um, from a, I had a stomach bug. Um, something was going on and I was severely dehydrated. And being dehydrated made it so much worse. So I can't really um, push across to you guys how important being hydrated is. Um, I mean, at one point, I really didn't want to take time off um, because I took a couple COVID tests and was negative COVID. So I didn't worry about this because my stomach was really in knots and I was wondering what was going on. And, you know, some people said that was, you know, some of the symptoms of having COVID, believe it or not, was uh, stomach pain. I had more pain than issues. Felt like my guts just was wrenching. Um, but I was severely dehydrated as well. And I'm sure that, you know, again, um, helped out the wrenching and the pain. Um, so at one point, I really didn't want to go. And I know I needed an IV. And I really didn't want to go in somewhere to, to get one. So I just, you know salt underneath my tongue and then as that started to dissolve i slammed pedialyte and slammed water <clears throat> so just repeat i've repeated that you know at time and time again no matter how bad my stomach felt or how full it it had gotten i just you know did as much as i could let it get full beyond this be in discomfort for a while then let it to settle down put salt underneath my tongue slam water and pedialyte um so finally, you know, after, uh, you know, several hours of going through that, my body started absorbing more, absorbing more, relaxing a little bit. I felt my guts relaxing, relaxing a little bit. And finally, I came out of it. Um, <clears throat> so it, it was about 72 hours uh, stomach bug I had. I'm not truly uh, certain what it was, but um, like I said, I was dehydrated during that time and you know, when it got to its peak, my dehydration is where the pain really set in. And uh, I, you know, truly went to work and uh, did what I had to get do to uh, rehydrate myself, which would have been smarter if I would have went in to a um, care now or someplace like this and asked for an IV. But then they would have been investigated and did a whole lot more when it went a little bit further than probably I would want it to, them to go as long as I didn't have COVID and was no risk of uh, getting anyone else sick. Um, and I was home anyway during that time because my stomach pain really didn't let me leave the house at all. Um, so I just catered to that and, you know, hydrated myself. Um, and then finally, you know, got on the other end of it and feeling much better now. But hydration, hydration, hydration is very important. And then the spinoff hydration, of course, supplementation. Um, and when I'm talk coming to supplementation, not necessarily I'm talking about bodybuilding supplementation, I'm talking about vitamins. So I take uh, extra zinc, uh, magnesium. Um, I'm over 50, uh, 51 to be exact. So I take DHEA, really important for someone my age, I feel. Um, also, vitamin D. Uh, people really don't focus on that vitamin D a whole lot, but it, especially when we live here in Texas and that Texas heat and that Texas sun is so predominant and it's like, oh my God, no matter if it's cold or hot, 
that Texas sun is out there. Um, but mind you, we are indoors these days a lot more than we used to. As adults, we're indoors more than we used to as kids. So vitamin D, I think, is very important to get an extra vitamin D in uh, for bones and teeth. Um, just what you get from the from the great that great those great sun rays um, in the sun that comes down on us. Um, we miss them a whole lot from being inside working on our computers or taking care of business for everybody else and not getting outdoors and, you know, taking in the sunshine. So um, that's what I do to make sure I take my artificial sunshine, so to say, um, is take an extra vitamin D. So um, anyway, th uh, these things can help you guys, you know, to supplement and stay hydration, have a balanced diet, um, can help you guys stay in good health. Um, just having that great nutrition and having a great nutrition plan. Um, hell, mind you, um, today uh, for breakfast, I had my usual um, five egg whites, two whole eggs, um, and I like grits. I'm not a oatmeal person uh, per se. Uh, I love grits. I grew up on grits. I believe in grits, so <laughs> I love me some grits. So I mix my eggs and grits together about a, uh, two cups of grits and uh, cooked grits and, uh, like I said, five egg whites, two whole eggs. Um, and I have to admit, I like some bacon. We need our fat, and I love some bacon. And because it's bacon is small, I know some guy eat a pound of bacon. Are you crazy? I eat two or three strips, you know what I mean? Um, you know, that that's just insane to me. I need to have that much bacon in your diet, um, that much fat in your diet. Uh, saturated fat at that um but you know, you know that's what i normally do for breakfast then uh, a few hours after that you know i have me an all max um shake and um some nuts um a bowl about a cup of nuts um but three hours after that my wife made some awesome potato soup because like i said last week i was feeling so good and uh soup just something that you know my body can absorb that's nutritionist and my body can absorb pretty quickly uh, without a whole lot of uh struggling a whole lot of effort um so my wife like i said my wife made some awesome potato soup so I ate some potato soup um and i had a six ounce breast of chicken uh baked chicken so that was awesome um three hours after that i actually uh, now added oatmeal into a two 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 cups of protein from all max um then i had uh, a cup of oatmeal um one whole banana about you know a cup of two about could two cups of ice and about six ounces of water and uh blended that into a, a shake and had that for my next meal um and then for dinner i had salmon i had uh 10 ounces of salmon um i had two cups of uh um, white rice, um, and, um, about two or three cups of vegetables. I eat as many vegetables as I want, asparagus as I want, um, because that's just good and good fiber, you know, to keep you regular. So anyway, guys, that's just a little bit of snippet of, um, what I ate, uh, the other day, just try to have a good balance, you know, meal. And I usually eat somewhat similar to that every day, all through the week. And then on the weekends, I normally, you know, splurge a little bit and, um, you know, if we decide to go out to dinner somewhere or go to Outback or something like that, you know, I'll have, you know, a meal there or something like that. Who knows? Uh, probably fish again uh, or a steak. Um, and then again, potato um, and then bread, definitely bread. Oh, I love the bread, you know, at restaurants. So, in a, you know, that's just a, a little bit free appetizer. So uh, why not? Anyway, thank you guys for coming in this week. Listen to me on The Hardcore Truth with Johnny O. Jackson. I'm Johnny O. Jackson. And please subscribe, comment at the bottom. Um, let me know what you guys would want, like me to talk about. And um, we'll see you next week. Glad you was here. See you next time.